This poster is going to focus on ecosystem services that are provided by seaweed aquaculture. In the case of seaweed, we will consider two types of ecosystem services. That is, provisioning services with a direct market value, such as seaweed salad that you might purchase at the grocery store, and regulating or supporting services that have an indirect market value and are often associated with environmental benefits. The reduction of greenhouse gas emissions from cattle is what we will explore here. Methane is a byproduct of cow's digestion. To put cow's emissions in perspective, consider that there are approximately 270 million dairy cows in the world, which is virtually equal to the number of automobiles in the USA. Factoring in the differences between cattle-derived methane and automobile-generated CO2, as shown in this slide, two cows are equivalent to one automobile in terms of their yearly atmospheric impact. The question then is how much is a cow burp worth to society? The solution lies in seaweed. It is a fact that cows whose diets are supplemented with certain seaweeds burp less and therefore produce less methane. Our strategy is to conduct an ecosystem services valuation that links the agricultural and aquaculture industries by converting the indirect market value of seaweed into an actual dollar value that reflects the regulating ecosystem service of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Imagine Daisy, our cow, producing 220 pounds of methane per year, which we can reduce by 25 percent, or 55 pounds, by supplementing her diet with seaweed. If you multiply 55 pounds by the U.S. interim social cost of methane, which currently is $55 per metric ton, you come up with a dollar value for reducing methane emissions per cow per year. In this example, that is a dollar and 37 cents. The interim social cost is a government-derived estimate of the long-term environmental damage done by, in this case, methane. Whether or not the estimated dollar value of methane reduction per cow per year exceeds the estimated cost of feeding an average cow, the seaweed supplement, depends on how high the realized reduction in methane emissions are and the value we place on the social cost of methane emissions. This sensitivity analysis shows that only at the highest levels for both the reduction in methane and the interim social cost of methane does the value of reducing methane emissions offset the cost of the seaweed supplement for that one cow over the year. The question is, can we shift some of the cost of the seaweed supplement from the cattle farmer to society, since we all benefit from a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions? When social benefits derived from seaweed production equal the social cost of producing that seaweed, you attain the socially optimum outcome as seen in the graph. The outcome is the value society gets from reduced methane emissions when cows eat the seaweed supplement. Based on our sensitivity analysis, we are unlikely to reach the social optimum without some form of market intervention because the cattle farmer alone bears the burden of paying for the seaweed supplement, even though all of society benefits. There are a number of questions that must be answered as we try to quantify the results outlined in the previous slides. What, for example, is the exact relationship between feeding cattle seaweed and their methane production? Can aquaculture meet the potential demand for producing the quantities of the correct seaweed? And finally, what is the true environmental cost of methane? The bottom line is that economic ecological research holds promise for addressing environmental issues while defining new seaweed markets that will help our friendly cow, Daisy, become more socially responsible.